Now, one of the things that Sheffield has started to experience in the last few years is rebranding, a change of image. And if you look at this ugly building, you'll see why we need to change image. It was, you know, it was stuck in a past 1960s concrete architecture. So yeah, a change in image is needed. <laughs> a bit like Mr. Webb. Uh, if ever there was a, another ugly person who needed a change of image, uh, that would be Mr. Webb, I would say. How about this change of image? How's about this, sir? Oh, it's a different image, Mr. Webb. I'll give you that, but I don't think it's the right image for you, sir. Right, now let's look at the change of image in the city, which is, is what we're here to do. This is the light cinema, and this is a complex of not just the cinema, there's also cafes, there's bars, there's restaurants down here, and that is going to improve the quality of life in the city centre. It's going to bring people here in the evening as well, so they spend money during all parts of the day, not just daytime, but also nighttime. It's going to increase uh, the positive multiplier of bringing money in and helping other businesses flourish at all times of the day, and that's a much better image than we had previously and that's how about, uh, how about this image sir again that's a very different image mr webb and that might be the one that i think you should settle on so now we've rebranded right. not just sheffield but mr webb uh let's go and look at some more examples of rebranding keep your suit on sir thank you one of the best parts of sheffield's rebranding this new image is uh, the peace gardens i think the peace gardens are fantastic here they are open space in the middle of the city a nicer environment it's going to improve quality of life and then next to the peace gardens we've got what they call millennium square with these lovely shiny spheres that have been landscaped but all these new cafes lots of new business and job opportunities you can feel that positive multiplier in action here again they're open at night so it encourages people all through the day although these new job opportunities they tend to be low paid they tend to be part-time they're not high skill bar work and cafe work isn't going to make anybody rich and this cafe Nero for example this could be in any city rebranding leads to some of these uh, well-known uh, companies uh, some of them transnational companies all around the world and it could be Sheffield it could be Manchester it could be London so it loses a bit of its own identity uh, but I do love the Peace Gardens I always like to bring my kids here playing in the fountains what on earth is that Mr Webb Get, get out of the fountains, look at his new image, this is getting ridiculous. There he goes, what's he playing at? Another wonderful part of rebranding of Sheffield is the Winter Gardens. Great for attracting tourists. Remember how multifunctional the central business district is. You can see the high-rise buildings that are used for finance and banking and offices. You can see the car park that's going to be filled for all of the shoppers. Even that's got a beautiful image. And then this wonderful tourist attracting Winter Gardens. Although one of the downsides of rebranding is when land values are already high and rental rates are already high in the city centre, some of the shops that originally popped up have now popped off uh, because the rent's too high for some of those shops, which is difficult for some businesses. But it is beautiful. Again, I love to come and explore the natural. What on earth? Are you allowed to be in there, Mr. Webb? <laughs> you sure? I'm going to go before security gets in. Another big part of Sheffield's rebranding is taking former derelict brownfield areas such as this old canal basin and then giving the buildings a new purpose. So here we've got some offices of a legal firm, some really fancy apartments that you can live in, in one of the old warehouses and then the Hilton Hotel as it becomes an area that attracts tourists to this new repurposed, redeveloped wonderful area now uh, i wonder if this might be a good place for our pie shop to open here in the old victoria keys canal basin hello mr hello. webb what do you think of this, is this uh, your new canal boat yeah well i'm thinking you know mobile pie shop we can just dock up wherever we want sell our pies fantastic there. i wonder if there's anyone who's interested in our pies yeah. come and get your pies come get my pies 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 beautiful pies one of my favourite bits of rebranding in city is Park Hill Flats. So they've taken these plats that used to be old and getting run down, no one wanted to live there anymore. An urban splash have turned them into these beautiful modern apartments. Here we go, so we're right on the edge of the city. Look at that, oh, there's some the people who are wealth, wealthy enough to afford these flats now. Right on the edge of the city. And a beautiful suite of flats. All modern, only allowing the... Uh, what on earth is that? I'm not sure they're allowing 
How did you get in there? Have you got an apartment there, Mr. Webb? Yeah. Are you going up to your launch pad? Yeah. <laughs> How on earth did he get in there? But uh, maybe he can afford the rent. One of the downsides of this uh, gentrification, which is where companies or wealthy individuals invest in improving property, is that the rents go up. So uh, maybe some people can't afford the rents anymore. This guy obviously can, see he lives there. I'm not sure Mr. Webb can though. Look, there he goes again. See you, Mr. Webb. A good bit of rebranding is when you pedestrianise an area. So like here on Fargate, there's no cars allowed up here. That's going to improve your urban quality of life because you're not going to get the traffic and the fumes and the air pollution that puts people off uh, being in the central business district. So yeah, this pedestrian uh, idea is, is a really good bit of rebranding. Gregs and... Get your pies, get your pies. Are you, you're still pies, trying to get the get pie shop up and running, Mr. Webb. Yeah, I'm just trying to plug a few pies on the on pie. You know, good pedestrianised area. You're not so worried about the, the competition, sir? Uh, no, I've got nothing on these. Get your pies.